Hello, Mia. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. And a very belated welcome to GRA 220. Uh, this will be some video feedback for you on your milestone one, which is the print ad. And it looks like you've got great ingredients. Um, I look forward to seeing how you apply them on the web banner. If you've got any issues or questions, you know, from now until the end of the semester, uh, I get, post my contact information in the announcements. And uh, don't hesitate to reach out, you know, if I can help you. Uh, Mia, uh, this is a great collection of ingredients. And I see that you're keeping track of your um, process with ample screenshots. Um, you know, the final reflected document is pretty short. Um, and, you know, because we are visual people, uh, I think it's good to use embedded images like this that show your process. Um, but you won't probably be able to use all of them. So there's uh, Stephanie's just popped up. OK, so I'm going to go back to the um, Illustrator file, which is what I'm most interested in. And I'm assuming that it is uh, mod 2 print add AI. OK. Now, when I open this up, uh, if I'm prompted for, that's Brian's, by the way, as I'm prompted for these images. Um, and I'm just going to ignore it because I don't know where they are necessarily. And so um, I'm, I'm winding up with just the bare minimum of ingredients here. So what I'll think I'll uh, just to you know, show you what's going on here. I see that you've got some layers, um, but not what I would expect to see, I think, for a, a full Adobe Illustrator document. So Mia, what I'm assuming you did is uh, you built this in Photoshop, and that's fine. Um, but it it would have to be if you if you were to send, let's say you were positioning this ad in uh, oh I don't know travel and leisure, um, you would submit a PDF uh, of an Illustrator document, uh, not a Photoshop PDF. And the reason there's several reasons for that, that but um, Illustrator is a print file format. Um, and so, uh, and I would expect to see, as I just opened up your Illustrator file and didn't find these images, um, but it's, don't lose hope because you can rebuild this uh, in Illustrator. And I would, I would make the effort to do so. Um, it's, it's really important to know how to, you know, for example, uh, import silhouettes in Illustrator you mentioned opening up the style guide, the PDF. Um, so let me go ahead and do that just to show you. Well, you, you, you provided that here, I think, well, in your submission. Um, you don't have to place the entire style guide. You can use the select arrow to select the logo, copy it to the clipboard, and then paste it in your 8.5 by 11 Illustrator page uh, document, period. Now, maybe you understand all this and I'm missing something, but um, I guess my the big takeaway from this would be to build this in Illustrator. Okay, now about the design, um, you've got a lot going on. Um, it's good. It holds together. I like this, the organic shape of the circles and the geode and the crystals. Um, I like the asymmetry of it, too. Um, I think the contact information can be very discreet. Um, and, you know, maybe it can be combined with this information. Um, you've got a several type sizes going on, you know, this, um, and I think your letting needs to be opened up. I would probably flush left everything, try to find common axes. Here, for example, I think a, a vertical axis is forming. Perhaps you can make the type flush left, rag right, and hang it off that axis. And, um, I don't know if this is a comfortable fit. You know, perhaps maybe use an oval if you wanted to do this. And think about what you want the viewer to see first, second, or third. Um, <clears throat> I like the combination of this contrast of indoor and with the inside of the geode. I think that's really clever. Uh, outdoor, you know, with the, the crystals and um, this uh, waterfall, idyllic waterfall. Uh, Indoor, outdoor, spa, you know, slash outdoor resort. I think it conveys that very well. Visually, though, you know, you need some hierarchy because my eye just kind of wanders around it without fixing on any anything. 
and consider using the rule of thirds or some similar grid to give you a rationale for placement. Good going. I look forward to seeing you then, Ed.